Hello and welcome to That's English. Hello. Today's programme is about fashion, la moda. Rosie is at Valerie's house. Rosie is going on her first date with George. She doesn't know what to wear. What's in fashion? No sabe qué ponerse. ¿Qué está de moda? And what's out of fashion? ¿Qué está pasado de moda? While you're watching, think about this question. What is Bernard's opinion of fashion? What is Bernard's opinion of fashion? It's very kind of you to let me try out some of your clothes. That's okay. What do you think? You look very nice. Where's George going to take you? He won't tell me. He says it's a surprise. I'm quite excited. Do you think this looks too casual? No. I'll wear my hair up. Or does it look better down? It's more sophisticated up. Yes, I think so. But it suits you better down. Don't worry too much. You look fine. Well, it's our first date. I'm going to look my best. What time is it? Six o'clock. What time are you going to meet him? At eight. No. This looks too ordinary. I'm going to wear something more exciting than jeans and a T-shirt. What style does George like? He'll like anything that you wear. He likes you. I know he's very excited too. That doesn't help me much. Oh, what am I going to wear? What are you doing? It's a new dance, Dad. You call that a dance? Have you done your homework? Yes, I've nearly finished it. Dad, you know those Ricky trainers? No, those shoes cost seventy pounds. Please, Dad, I need a new pair of trainers. I've seen a good pair of trainers that only cost twenty-five pounds. But they aren't Ricky trainers. Ricky trainers don't help you run any faster. They're no better than other shoes, but they are much more expensive. But Dad, I need them. You don't need them. It's just fashion. All my friends are wearing Ricky trainers. Why do you want to be like everyone else? <laughs> fashion is so stupid. I know this song. What is this song? It's Dub Boys Mix. This was my favourite song. It was on the Black Band album. What have they done to it? It's rap, Dad. It's terrible. This was one of the best songs of the early seventies. Who were the Black Band? Have you never heard of the Black Band? Don't they teach you anything at school? They're part of our culture. I saw them play twice. I wore their T-shirts. I even had a Black Band haircut. Did you really? Yeah. In those days, everyone had a Black Band haircut. We wore our hair like this. When was that? Nineteen seventy-one. <laughs> Never mind, Dad. It'll probably be in fashion again soon. What do you think? Do you think George will like this? Our question was: What is Bernard's opinion of fashion? Why do you want to be like everyone else? <laughs> Fashion is so stupid. Por qué quieres ir como todo el mundo? La moda es tan estúpida. So, Bernard says that fashion is stupid. That's his opinion. But when he was young, fashion was important to him. Yes, he wore black band T-shirts and he had a black band haircut. James intenta consolar a su padre, diciéndole que ese corte de pelo se pondrá otra vez de moda.
Never mind, Dad. It'll probably be in fashion again soon. Probablemente se pondrá de moda otra vez. Para hacer predicciones, se utiliza a menudo el auxiliar will en forma afirmativa o won't en forma negativa. Look at this example. He'll like anything that you wear. He'll like anything that you wear. He'll is short for he will. Pero cuando quieres expresar tus intenciones o planes para el futuro, se utiliza una forma verbal diferente. I'm going to look my best. Voy a tener el mejor aspecto posible. Esa es mi intención. What time are you going to meet him? What time are you going to meet him? What time do you intend to meet him? At eight. Pero volvamos a nuestra historia para saber qué se pone Rosie y George para la cita. Y veamos también si James consigue las zapatillas deportivas que quiere. It looks great, Rosie. No, Bernard. I want your honest opinion. I think it looks... A bit boring. <laughs> I don't want you to be that honest. <sighs> Too formal. Hmm. A nice jacket. Oh, too tight. Ew. <sighs> Too boring. Yves Saint Laurent? No? Yes. 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 <laughs> This is in fashion. It's a bit out of fashion, really. What do you think, Bernard? It's okay. But George might think you're a vampire. Don't ask Bernard. He doesn't know anything about fashion. Maybe it'll look better with a belt. Or with this waistcoat? Do you think this is too sexy? No. It looks very attractive. Hmm. I think it looks cheap. What about these earrings? They're fine. No. They're too big. Rosie, it's nearly eight o'clock. What do you think of these shoes? Do you think the heels are too high? Well, George is a short man. Maybe if I walk like this, it'll be all right? Yes, you handsome thing, you. And now, for the pièce de résistance. Does this look attractive? You're wearing the same clothes that you were wearing two hours ago. But I feel comfortable in them. Where is George? He said he'd be here at eight. Oh, princess! You look beautiful. Hello, George. Well, what do you think? 
I bought it especially for my date tonight. It suits me, don't you think? Yes. Are you ready for a night of romance? <laughs> You'll have to save up your pocket money to get a new pair. It'll take a year to save up £70. The trainers will be out of fashion by then. He really wants those trainers. Yes, but what about George? What did you think of his toupee? <laughs> I think it looks good. Very good. But I think Rose's clothes are boring. She's wearing her ordinary, everyday clothes. Boring. Los dos, Bernard y George, utilizaron la palabra boring. No, Bernard. I want your honest opinion. I think it looks a bit boring. Ah! The perfect cut, but too boring. Un corte perfecto, pero demasiado aburrido. Poco original. Palabras como bored y boring son muy útiles para hablar de nuestros sentimientos y opiniones. Fíjate en cómo se han utilizado algunas de estas palabras en la historia. This looks too ordinary. I'm going to wear something more exciting than jeans and a t-shirt. Voy a ponerme algo más excitante que unos vaqueros y una camiseta. I know he's very excited too. Sé que él también está muy entusiasmado. Excited. Entusiasmado. Se utiliza para expresar cómo se siente uno respecto a una persona o cosa. Exciting. Excitante describe a la persona o cosa que nos hace sentir de esa manera. Here are some more examples. I'm interested in classical music. Así es como ella se siente interesada. Interested. I think classical music is very interesting. Esa es su opinión de la música clásica. Es interesante. Interesting. Interested, interesado. Interesting, interesante. And that's all we have time for. Please join Robert and me for our next programme. We're going to see lots of British people talking about clothes and fashion. Bye. Goodbye. See you soon.